In this James the Bike Guy video, we're taking a look at the Maxxis Ardent Race Tire in a 29 by 2.35. We're gonna go over some of the features of this tire, as well as be sure that we find out exactly what its width is and its actual weight. So let's go ahead and take a look at the tire. Before we do that, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this into the future. So looking at this Maxxis tire, the first things to look at is this Ardent Race tire is gonna be very fast rolling, very ramped tread block design. So this has several intermediate tread blocks. You've got your major center blocks that are ramped, meaning they've got sort of a taper to the shape. And then the side blocks that are on the tire are very closely spaced, but that's gonna help with off camber turns. Now a tire like this is gonna work best on a harder surface. So uh, rock, slick rock, uh, being out on some nice packed down dirt, all of that stuff, it's gonna work well. But because the tread blocks are spaced in so tight, it may not be as perfect in mud or looser loamy conditions. Now this tire does have 120 TPI casing, which is a nice lightweight, very supple casing, very soft feeling in the hands. And this is gonna have the 3C speed max technology so that's going to mean that it's going to have multiple compounds of tire now this tire is set up with exo protection which means you're going to get some nice flat protection on the tire and overall it should end up being a pretty nice setup now let's go ahead and see the width you'll see that on a 24 millimeter internal rim this actually measures out a bit undersized at 2.29 inches so now that we've taken a look at some of the features of this tire, let's go ahead and we'll see what it weighs in at. With our scale here, the Maxxis Ardent Race 29 by 2.35 comes in at a pretty reasonable 788 grams. Well, thanks for watching this video on the Maxxis Ardent Race tire. Be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let me, think, let me know what you think about this tire as well as hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video.